Our planet is simply a giant chunk of rock and water hurtling around in space. Yet, thanks to its orbit around the sun and daily rotation to us mere mortals here on Earth, everything seems pretty straightforward. We get up in the morning when the sun rises, and we go to bed after the sun sets. If we stand in one place, we don't feel like we're moving, but we really are. From sunrise to sunset, we are at the mercy of the Earth's rotation. In fact, everything from daylight to the weather is directly linked to our planet's rotational speed. It makes us wonder, what would happen if the Earth's rotation sped up? That is, what would life down here be like if suddenly the speed at which the planet spins started to increase? Secure yourself firmly to the ground, because we're going to show you just how insane things would get. Before we put a little spin on your life, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. We love hearing what you have to say. All right, let's get this party spinning. To start off with, we need to know the basics. For instance, we all know that our planet rotates throughout the day. In fact, it takes 24 hours for Earth to complete one full rotation. That explains the whole sunrise, sunset thing we witness every day. While you sit there and wonder why we're telling you such an obvious fact, just know that the Earth's spin means you're also moving at an incredible speed. Sure, you may feel motionless at this moment, but you are actually hurtling along at crazy speeds. For instance, if you are at the equator right now, you're moving at just over 1,000 miles per hour. As you move toward the poles, your speed slows, with people in the northern U.S. states moving at around 750 miles per hour. You might be thinking, so what? If the Earth spins faster, then the days go by faster and we all move physically faster without feeling it, right? Ah, if only it were that simple. If the Earth's rotational speed began increasing, we'd all notice a range of changes that went beyond a simple shortening of your day. For instance, did you know that the Earth is actually not round, but a little bit squished down with the widest part being the middle? That's right, the Earth is actually wider along the equator because of the centrifugal forces resulting from its rotation. Think of it like this, if you saw a woman in a dress standing still, it would just look normal. Now let the woman start to spin, and what happens? That's right, her dress would begin to flare outwards under the centrifugal force. The same thing occurs with our planet. Even the slightest increase in speed would cause the Earth to become wider at its waist because water would begin moving from the polar regions to the equator. Researchers say that even a one mile per hour increase would raise water levels a few inches. Increase it by 100 miles per hour and predicted levels would rise by several dozen feet. Increase the speed suddenly and by a lot more and you would likely see massive water-related disasters all along the coast. So, surf's up. Now, assuming water levels and tsunamis destroyed populated areas along the equator, we'd likely see that on CNN or Fox, right? Not so fast. If the world's rotation sped up even a bit, all those satellites in synchronized orbit above us wouldn't be lined up properly. Communications would go haywire. Signals would come and go. It would be like the old days when people had to try and tune into a channel and make do with whatever signal was the strongest. Don't even think about turning to the internet. With satellite communications disrupted, everyone's calls and internet traffic would have to be rerouted through ground-based systems and cables. The overload and stress on the system would, at best, cause massive slowdowns or, at worst, total failure in the World Wide Web. In the blink of an eye, our communications would be sent back to 1950s levels. While you sat and pouted over your inability to log into Facebook, you probably wouldn't notice the other problems caused by a faster spinning Earth. For instance, with an increased rotational speed, the Earth's atmosphere would also get concentrated near the equator, affecting the weather. Thanks to the Coriolis effect, in addition to gale force winds, hurricanes and typhoons would be far more destructive as the rotational speed would increase their energy. If that wasn't bad enough, the number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions would also increase as the Earth's crust was altered by the centrifugal forces. In short, the faster we go, ooh, the worse it gets. Have no fear, because it's not all bad. In fact, on a planet that spins faster, you'll actually lose weight. That's right. As it stands right now, if you weigh 150 pounds at one of the poles, you'll weigh around 149 pounds at the equator. Increase the speed, and your weight at the equator actually begins to drop. Hypothetically, after a rotational speed of 17,000 miles per hour is achieved, gravity could drop to the point that the spinning Earth just throws you off into space, just like that kid on the merry-go-round. Unfortunately, at greatly increased speeds, the planet could also spin itself to pieces, much like how a tire on a car disintegrates under extreme stress. So you likely wouldn't be around to enjoy all that weight loss. So what would happen if the Earth started to spin faster? 
In short, everything would change. The days would get shorter, ocean levels near the equator would rise, communications would be disrupted, and natural disasters related to floods, earthquakes, volcanoes, and hurricanes would all increase. Increase the speed enough, and the shape of the Earth itself would change dramatically, to the point where it appeared to resemble a squished down ball. Well, let's just be thankful that none of that is happening anytime soon. That's all for this video, folks. We hope you enjoyed it while you hurtled along at several hundred miles per hour. Let us know you haven't been flung off into space by activating that subscribe button. If you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you have a bit more time, check out the upcoming video as well. We made it especially for you. We'll see you around. Bye-bye for now.